Hey God's family, this is Liza. And I'm Mr. Gus. And we come today to bring you a word um, on Resurrection Sunday. And what the Lord gave us um, was uh, everybody's always saying He is risen. And He gave us We is risen. And the scripture that I'm going to bring to you is 1 Corinthians six fourteen, And it says, By His power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will raise us also. Um, the Lord had been speaking to me um, about, you know, everything going on with the coronavirus. And so after this uh, message, I'm going to um, add that word for you all to hear. Um, but it was important to come on to let you know what we is risen meant. Um, and that word will just add on to this understanding. Um, Christ died and rose again and went to the Father that we may have the Holy Spirit within us, that we may be resurrected from dead works, and that we may go forth and do greater works in his name. Um, I'm reading out of the Geneva Bible, but John chapter 14 12 through 17. Very verily I say unto you, he that believeth in me, the works that I do, he shall also do. And greater than these shall he do, for I go unto my Father. And whosoever ye ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, with whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye knoweth him, for he dwelleth within you, and shall be in you. So this is not only a day that Christ has resurrected, but it is a day that we commemorate the fact that we have risen and, and we should be going out and preaching the gospel and allowing ourselves to be used as vessels for signs, wonders, and miracles and to preach the word of God. So it's not just he is risen, it's we is risen. And saints, I'm encouraging you in this time to however you can reach out to people and help them to come to know the God who loves them so much. Whether it's by praying with them, whether it's by holding church in your home, whether it's by sending a, a, a just a message to them on the internet, but it's time for us to be resurrected as well, that we are not the walking dead out there, but the living, and we are resurrected with Christ. Amen. So we all know that um, this is the great day where uh, Jesus was risen. And um, when, when he came back and he spoke to the, the 11 disciples, he, he, he primarily gave them a mission, and that mission was called the Great Commission. And in Matthew 28 and also in Mark uh, 16, 14 through 18, and I'll read it to you. It says, then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Mm -hmm. And so I believe while that at that moment, he was primarily talking to those 11 at that time. So how does it fit to us today? How, I mean, how, how do we fit into this big picture? First Peter 2, 9 says, But ye are the ones chosen by God, a royal priesthood, chosen for the high calling of priestly work, chosen to be a holy people, God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him, to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you, from nothing to something, from rejected to accepted. So again, as you can see that um, Jesus is the good shepherd, uh, as John 10 says, in, uh, John 10 11 says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. And therefore, 
um, we were called as a royal priesthood to go forth and and um, and just further minister the word of God that He has placed onto our hearts. Now, not everyone was called um, to do this. However, um, we were called to support those in the ministry and to support the word uh, by furthering um, the uh, the good works that He's done on the cross on this day. So, therefore. It's again, it's not just he, we all have a part. We are all a part of the body of Christ, regardless to what your part is in it. We, the body can't move unless it's really moving together. No one part can work without the other. And especially without following the commands and the things that the head, which is Jesus Christ, commanded us to do. So saints and, and people of God and those of you that are hearing this, that, that may be hearing about Jesus for the first time, um, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross. He gave his life for your sins and he resurrected on the third day. And we are now saying that may you be resurrected. And so it's not he is risen, but it's we is risen. We love you very much. We hope you're enjoying uh, this day and, and just praising and worshiping our Lord Jesus Christ with your family. G-Fab signing out.